I'm Ari Finling, and I'm from New York City. I love New York City. I think it's one of the most exciting cities in the world. I enjoy driving, but I almost never drive in the city. For one thing, it's too expensive. And if you do drive in the city, you spend most of your time stuck in traffic, and parking is even more expensive than gas. So I always get around using public transportation. New York City has a great bus network. And the subway system is convenient and definitely the cheapest. But public transportation in New York City is much more expensive than in many other cities. Luckily, since June 2013, there's been a cheaper alternative to the buses, subways, and cars in Manhattan. And it's a healthier alternative, too. This is Penn Station, the busiest railway station in New York City. More than half a million people travel through this station every day. However, located just several blocks from Penn Station is this, one of the many solar-powered docking stations for nearly 6,000 city bikes, located in hundreds of stations around New York City and Brooklyn. At each of these stations, you can borrow a bike for making short journeys around the city. City bikes are available all day, every day. Each station has a touch screen and a map of the area. City bikes is privately operated by New York City Bike Share and supported by user fees, sponsorships, and advertising. Citigroup and MasterCard have provided most of the funding for the bike share. You have to pay a small fee to join the scheme, but then you can borrow a bike. The bike sharing scheme has proved popular both with commuters and visitors to the city. Of course New York City isn't the only city with a bike sharing scheme, and it isn't a new idea. There have been schemes around since the 1960s, but with new technology like GPS, cash cards, and smartphones, local authorities have been able to make the schemes more secure and much easier to use. There are now bike sharing schemes in over 165 cities around the world, with more starting up all the time. Some of the most successful schemes are the Belive in Paris, Dublin Bikes in Dublin, Ireland, Boris Bikes in London, Bising in Barcelona, and Bixi in Montreal, Canada. But the biggest scheme is in Hangzhou, China, which has more than 60,000 bicycles. Unfortunately, despite the enthusiasm for city bikes, New York City still is in the most bike-friendly city. There are some bike lanes, but often bikes, cars, and buses have to share the roads, and this can be dangerous. So, there are a few things everyone can do to make their bike trip safer. Whether you're on a city bike or your own bike. First, you have to obey the rules of the road. You must not ride a bike on the sidewalk, and you must not ride a bike through red lights. You should wear a helmet and bright clothes. You must be at least 16 or older to ride a city bike. You really shouldn't use your phone or wear headphones while cycling. You must be able to see and hear what's going on around you. But if you're careful, a bike is the best way to see New York City. And being able to borrow one for a small fee makes it even better. <laughs>